Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to install Cobblemon for Minecraft and it's actually very easy to do and should take only around about 6 minutes or so so not that long at all so if you do find this video helpful be sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button as well, I'd really appreciate it so if you're looking to play a Pokemon mod this would definitely be the one to get as it does add a lot of Pokemon into your game we can also see all the stats as well for all your Pokemon and you can also see these other mobs around like this reindeer we've also got newer structures like this one here as well so if you want to know how to install this mod, I will show you how to do it right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually come to this website right here. I will leave a link in the description down below. Now once you are here, we can simply just scroll down. And what we're going to want to do is actually click on the files icon just here. So click on this button just here, click on that. From here, we can now see all the versions and what mod launchers we can use Cobblemon for. So you can see over here we've got Fabric, we've also got Forage as well. So you can choose between these two. Now today I'm going to be doing it for Fabric. If you want to know how to do it for Forage, I will leave a link in the description down below on how to download Forage and install it. And I also will leave an eye on the screen right now so you can click on that as well if you want to know how to download and install Forage. But I'm going to be doing it for Fabric, so I'm going to be doing it for this version just here, 1.20.1. .1. This is the newest version at the moment. So I'm going to be doing it for this one just here. I'm going to come to the three little dots on the end here and then just click on download just over here. So click on that. Now this will load a page like this and it will take about five seconds for it to download. As you can see right now, it is now downloading for me. We're also going to need fabric. So on this website just here, I will leave a link in the description down below. We can actually get the fabric loader. Now what you're going to want to do from this website is click on the download button just here. Click on that. And from here, you're going to click on download for Windows. Click on this one here as well. And this will download also over here. And again, we're also going to need something else. And that is the fabric API. I will leave a link in the description down below to this website. And what you're going to want to do from this website is click on the files icon just here. Click on that and scroll down. And what we're going to want to do is actually look for the version 1.20.1 because that is the version we have downloaded for our couple one. Now the easiest way to find our version is actually to come over here to the all games versions, click in here. And in here we can actually look for the version we want. So I'm going to keep scrolling down until we find the version we need, which is this one just here. I'm going to click on this one here. Then from here it will load all the versions that we can use for um, Fabric just here. And it is for the right version 1.20.1. .1. I'm now going to click on the three little dots over here and then click on download file as well on this one. And wait five seconds for this one to download while we're waiting for this to download if you want to get yourself a minecraft server to play with your friends i recommend checking out apex hosting as they have some really good high quality servers and you can also play cobblemon on these servers as well they have some really good powerful servers and they also do come with a ddos protection so be sure to check them out of the link in the description down below so now i am on my desktop what you're going to want to do from here is actually go to your file explorer so mine is just down here i'm going to click into this just like this and then from here, what you're going to want to do is actually find your downloads folder. Mine is just over here. This is where all our files have gone to. Now, for most people, they should go into the downloads folder. If not, they should be on your desktop. So they could be on your desktop over here. But for me, they are in the downloads. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these here and then just drag them onto my desktop just like that. From here, I'm going to click on the little X button just here. We don't need that file. And over here, as you can see, we have now got our three files. Now, the first one we're going to want to do is actually this fabric installer just here. So this is the one we're actually going to want to install first. So what you're going to want to do is just double click on this file just here and wait for the little menu to pop up on the screen just like this. From here, what we're going to want to do is actually select a different Minecraft version. Because our Cobblemon is actually in version 1.20.1, we're going to want to select the version in here. So we simply just scroll down to this one down here, 1.20.1, select that. Now down here, you're going to want to make sure it does go to your .minecraft in here. So make sure it does go to your .minecraft. By default, it should automatically select this. But if it doesn't, you have to click on the three little dots over here. And you actually have to find your .minecraft. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video. But if you do need help, let me know in the comments below. And I will be able to help you out on that. Simply from here, what you're going to want to do now is actually just click on the install button just here. Click on that. This shouldn't take too long at all. As you can see, it has now already finished. Click on OK. Then click on the little X button just up here. Now you can get rid of this file here. You don't need this one no more. So what we're going to want to do now is actually make sure that we do have Java installed. So if you can't see the coffee mugs in these little files just here, that could be because you don't have Java installed. Another way to check this is to right click on these files, click on open with, then make sure Java is here. If you don't have Java here, that means you will need to install it. And I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below on how to get Java. This is required for these mods to work, so you do need it. So make sure you do download and install that. So once you've got Java installed, these files here should turn to coffee mugs. So that is great. If they haven't, it should still work as you still have Java installed. So as long as you've got Java installed, that is great. That is what we need. So what we're going to want to do now is actually load up our Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to load mine up right now. Now once your Minecraft launcher loads up, what you're going to want to do from here is just check that you have got Fabric installed. So over here, automatically, the Fabric loader should automatically be selected over here. If it isn't, what you're going to want to do is click on the little arrow just here and make sure you can find it in here. 
Now just have a little look through and see if you can find it. Now you might not have as many files as me in here, that's just because I've got other model launches installed. But what you want to look for is the fabric loader just here, 1.20.1, and make sure that is selected. If you can't find it in here, what you're going to want to do is come up to installations up the top here, click on that. And from in here, what you're going to want to do is make sure the modded over here is selected. So make sure this modded here is selected, just like that. If you still can't see it in here, what you're going to want to do is click on new installation up here, click on that. In here in the versions, in here, make sure you select the new fabric. So simply scroll down until you find the fabric loader 1.20.1 just here and click on that. You can give it a name here if you want to and also you can give it an icon up here. Then from here you can click on create down here. But I don't need to do that as I've already got myself a fabric loader. I'm click on cancel down here. As you can see mine is just here. Now once you've got your file in here, your fabric loader 1.20.1. So once you're highlighted over your file, just come to the end over here, to the file little icon just here, click on that. Then what happens is your .minecraft will load up. So this is basically where all our Minecraft files are installed to. So now from in here, what we're going to want to do is actually look for our mods folder just here. Now if you don't have a mods folder, so I'm going to delete my mods folder. So if you don't have one, what you're going to want to do is just come over to the side, right click, hover over new, then click on folder. Then in here, just simply just call it mods, all lower cases like that, and then click on enter. Then once you've got your mods folder, just double click into it. And now in here, we actually need to drag in our two mods. So I'm just going to minimize down my Minecraft here, move my file off to the side here so I can see my mods. So down here, we've got the cobble mod. I'm going to drag that into here. Also, the fabric API, I'm also going to drag this into here as well, just like this. And do make sure that these two files have gone into your mods folder. That is very important as it won't work. So make sure they are in your mods folder. From here, what we're going to want to do is click on the X button just up here. Now come back to our Minecraft launcher. Now from here, what we're going to want to do is click on the little play button just up here. And then simply make sure it's got the uh, fabric loader uh, selected down here. Make sure that is selected. Then click on play just here. Now you might get a warning on the screen just like this one. If you do, just click on I understand and click on play. Now wait for this to load up. So once your Minecraft loads up, what you're going to want to do is actually just check down here that your fabric is installed. So as you can see in the corner, we have got the Minecraft 1.20.1 slash fabric modded. Now if you've got that in the corner, that means everything is working. Now what you're going to want to do is actually join your own world. Now, once you are in your world, as you can see in the top corner there, we can actually click on M key. And once we've done that, we can see all this Pokemon stuff in here. So you can see all the Pokemon in here. You can also see in the world as well that we do have new instructions up. As you can see, a new building over here. We've also got, got like a reindeer over here as well. So yeah, as you can see, all this stuff is working. So that is how you install Cobblemon for Minecraft. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to leave a like on it. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new. I upload loads of Minecraft videos and it's all tutorial based. So if you do need help with anything on Minecraft, this will definitely be the channel to check out. If you also want to know how to get more FPS, click on this video right here. On that video, I tell you how to get more FPS and it's really easy to do. But that is it for this video. And I'll see you on my next one.